and you're new here, do hit the subscribe button as I will be doing a lot more videos like this. So let's begin. So this video is all about build pipelines and really just about how to build it. So from a very high level, what is a build pipeline? A build pipeline allows a developer or a DevOps engineer to essentially build and deploy code to a chosen environment. So for this example, what I'm going to do is show you how to build a pipeline. And that, build, that pipeline that we are going to build is going to be Terraform code, which will create a resource group within a chosen Azure subscription. So the first step would be to head over to Azure DevOps and create a project. The second step would be to create a repository and upload your code. So to keep things very simple here so we can just understand what a build pipeline is, I have included two files. So the first file is the terraform.tf file and it just includes very basic snippets such as the provider and we are using Azure RM because we are deploying to Azure. We also have a Terraform uh, backend section and this, what this does is it is essentially for your terraform.tf state file. So as a prereq to making this build pipeline happen, you're going to need to create a storage account within Azure and a container so you could store your terraform.tf state file there. And the reason why is because when you are deploying Terraform code on your computer, so without pipelines, it stores this TF state file locally on your computer. But Obviously, we're doing this with pipelines and the pipelines doesn't really know where the TF state file is going to be the next time you run this code. So what we could do is essentially store it within a storage account so it could pick it up straight away um, and know what has been deployed and what hasn't been deployed. And over here at the bottom, we are creating a resource group, which is the whole purpose of this TF file. So let's head over now to the pipeline section where we can go over the azure pipelines.yaml file which i have i have included so pipelines so the first step would be to click on new pipeline and select the repository that holds your code which is azure repos in this case I will select my repository and I will click on existing Azure Pipelines YAML file because I already have one created. And it is within the main branch and it is called Azure Pipelines.yaml. So I will click on continue. Now, before I run this, I have the ability to make some additions. So let me just take you through this YAML file and what it is actually doing. There are two stages. The first stage consists of validation. So we are performing the validate stage and that has a job called validate and uh, a few tasks. The first task would be to install Terraform and of course, the correct version. So this is the version that I am installing for this chosen example. Then if we move on to the second task, this is all about running Terraform in it. So this is where we will initialize the environment. And so for this task, it is important to specify where you are storing your terraform.tf state file. And as I mentioned earlier, we're storing this within a container, which is within a storage account, which is of course held within a resource group. And we would need to specify the SPN as well. So the service principal name. So the third task here is to run the validate command. And once that stage has been completed, it will move on to the deploy stage. And this deploy stage has, again, a couple of repetitive tasks, such as 
writing the correct Terraform version, sorry, um, installing the correct Terraform version, writing Terraform initialize, and then we have two of our generic commands, which if you are familiar with Terraform, you would know, which is Terraform plan and Terraform apply. And if I click on show assistance, I can show you how I basically created these, um, these details. So what I did was I went over to tasks and I click, I typed over Terraform. And by default, this is not installed. So you would need to install this from the marketplace. So then I have the option to, write, uh, to click on Terraform tool installer. And this is where you would specify your version. And once you add it, it would look something like this, line 35 to 38. And if I go back and I click on Terraform and I click on this, you can see this, the number of commands that you can include as well as the provider and all the other details um, such as the so so if we're running terraform in it we would need to specify where we would want to store or where our tf terraform.tf state file will be stored or if we just run a terraform plan then we would just pass in the subscription details and click on add so once that has been completed, then we can move on to, if I just get rid of this, we can move on to clicking on run. And what this will do is create our pipeline. So over here, what you can see now is it has triggered off the validate stage. Um, it says not started, but if I click on this, you can see it is preparing everything that needs to be done and now it has started. So if I go back, you can see it's going through the various tasks and uh, the green tick box is right next to it. But if I go back, it says permission needed. So if I select this and click on permit, and I head over to deploy. You can see that this has now started. So if I go back, you will see the number, um, you can see which number has been completed basically. Um, and you can see some great statistics like how long it's taking to run and not long, it should be completed. And this is basically how you run a pipeline. And once this has been completed, I could head over to Azure and I will see that the resource group has been implemented within my chosen subscription. Okay, it's all done. So I hope this video was useful. If so, please like, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. If you have any questions, I will definitely answer. Okay, thanks. Bye.